welcome to the Solo Road Trip 2021, we'll call it. That's what we'll call it. So basically, this next week and a half, I'm just gonna be traveling around, riding with riders, companies, um, people in the industry that I really haven't had the chance to ride with yet. So basically, yeah, I'm just gonna go to all these different places. We're, uh, we're going to Wyoming, Colorado, Idaho, Montana, back to Wyoming, pretty much a lot of places. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Um, I got a lot of fun things planned. Some I can't disclose. Some are gonna be in this video. So hope you enjoy the behind the scenes action um, following along on the road trip. So first stop is Centennial, Wyoming. I'm gonna ride the Snowy Range Mountains. Uh, my dad's actually out there. My dad and a bunch of guys from where I grew up that I've been riding with my whole life. So I'm gonna go ride with them the first day tomorrow. And I think the snow should be pretty good. I just talked to some guys at a gas station that had a sled deck and a trailer. And they said that they rode an encampment, which is on the other side of the Snowy Range Mountain. And uh, they said it was supposed to be really good these next few days. So I guess they're getting a bunch of snow and that's what I like to hear. Centennial, Wyoming, day one. She's deep. Check that out. Yeah, I bet that 36 inch front end is awesome. Oh god, I love it. Way better. Even when the snow's not good, it's so much better. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
Mr. Austin Winchell in the house. <laughs> Party. Let's go. Day one in Centennial, final day also, was pretty good. A lot of snow, staying at the old corral here. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys something. There's Bluebird up on deck, out yonder. But if you go over here, and go in this trailer. All right, so. It's kind of cool to have the dirt deck and the trailer in one spot, but my dad and the guys who I rode with today took this out. Um, so they'll be heading back and I'll be keeping going with my uh, dirt deck. But one of these sleds in here, Booyah. If you guys have been following me for a real long time, that's my old sled. I sold it to a kid, he sold it to another kid and it ended up here. So, I it was kind of cool, I got to ride with <laughs> It was, like a, it was like seeing a long lost friend. You know, guy you haven't seen in a long time. And then a really cool thing about this, if you've been following Sled USA for a long time, that right there is the very first batch of decals we ever made from Sled USA. We had, I think we printed like maybe 50 or 100 of the red, white, and blue ones, and then the same amount of these black and white ones. So if you are an OG and have one of the OG Sled USA decals uh, posted up somewhere, whether it be in your garage or on your sled or wherever it might be. Send me a picture of it and we might do something cool. Do like a giveaway or something, I don't know. Ooh -wee. Good morning, YouTube. 
It is negative 16 outside. Just leaving the old corral at Centennial and heading to Rabbit Ears Pass to ride with some of the Alpine Motorsports guys. So just about a two hour drive, nothing crazy. I was actually pretty stoked that my truck started on the first try. Sounded like an old 4020 John Deere, but she started. If anybody was sleeping in at the old corral, I woke them up. <laughs> but all my Mountain Dews froze, all my waters froze. Pretty bummed about that. My defroster is working as hard as it can. And it's still not really keeping up, but enough for me to see. <laughs> also, if you were one of the people that took a picture with me in Centennial on Saturday morning, uh, post it and tag me and I'll repost it. I like seeing that stuff. It was awesome meeting all you guys, too. Dude, I've been down this uh, this valley so many times, never even been up here. Dude, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, because all that gets pounded out. Yeah. Yeah. I usually make my way all the way until the ski area and then turn around and yeah. kind of play in that. But yeah, I, I didn't even know this was here. Yep. <laughs> Sometimes the squirrel in you that's like, ooh, I is should go do that, that, turns out really well. <laughs> this is one of those times. Yeah, this is sick. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not gonna make it up there, huh? <laughs> so, this one is that you guys are coming back up the screen. <laughs> hey, what was that? Woo wee! Woo! <laughs> Hell yeah. Alright, update. Rabbit Ears was awesome. Thank you, Alex, Quinn, all you guys that I that took me out. I had a blast. Super good snow, bluebird skies, like you couldn't ask for a better day. It was a little chilly, but I mean, it wasn't bad. Awesome day. So, drove down to Steamboat and fueled up the truck and the sled and went and saw some buddies of mine. Just hung out for a little bit. And now it's turn and burn time to Alpine, Wyoming. I'm gonna go ride with Mr. Cody Hunt. It's about a six and a half hour drive. Well, 
probably about four hours and 45 minutes now because I've been on the road for a little bit. But Oh, and I'm still in my snow gear. <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, yeah, just full snow gear, just cruising down, six and a half hour drive. Whatever. Maybe at a gas station I'll stop and take it off, but I'm just like, it's just go time for me. But anyway, I'm in the middle of like nowhere, Wyoming right now. I turned on the radio because it was like quiet. I kind of got bored. Turned on the radio and it literally cycled through all the way like five times. Like it, it wouldn't get a single radio station. I'm like, that's when you know you're in the middle of nowhere. 